Hey friend, it's Jackie from So Bright Creations and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this barnwood bench that I'm sitting on. It's a pretty simple design. Um, you do need a Craig jig for this project though. I'll leave a link in the description and in the description, I'm also gonna leave the cup measurements. Um, so make sure to check that out and let me know if you have any questions. I can't wait to see what kind of bench you make. I'm using rough lumber for this project. I measure my four by four, 16 inches. I like to just draw the line on this edge where my, where I can see where my saw is gonna hit it. I'm using this rough two by four um, for part of the base and it has all this kind of like ugly wood in it here. Well, you some might think it's ugly, but I think it's gonna add character. Um, so I'll just make sure that this is the part where the top goes on and then this will be kind of decorative. You just wait. So I've measured it and I'm going to cut at 32 and a half inches. So I'm going to cut two pieces of two by four at 32 and a half inches. Okay, so here I am using the chop saw to cut one two by four at 32 and a half inches, double checking that I measured right. And then I'm measuring out the second one and I'm going to cut that one too. And then when I'm done, I measure again just to make sure I cut the right length. Okay, for the middle pieces, I am going to measure three inches and cut the two pieces at three inches length. So you can see how the blade is just on the other side of the line. Three inches is measured up to the line and then the blade's just on the other side of the line. You always need to allow for the width of the blade when you're cutting. <laughs> Once everything was cut, I gave it all a good sand. I started with 80 grit sandpaper and then I went to 120 grit. Um, my goal was to make the, keep this a rustic bench, so I didn't do a really fine sand after that. If you are not using rough lumber and you want a really smooth finish, I would definitely recommend working your way up to 220 grit sandpaper. One thing I like to do is write on it. so. This piece here, I want the live edge to be at the bottom. The top has to be flat for the bench to go on. So I'm just going to write the top because I know um, that this is going to be covered. So I just wrote top on there. Again, I want this live edge piece to be on the bottom. This is where the bench is going to sit on top. So I'm going to write top. And I know this is the outside because that's easy to tell. So for this part here, it's a bit loose. Um, as you can see, there's still kind of some bark. It's too much for the sander. So I'm just gonna use a knife, carving knife here. And kind of carve some of it out. And then I wanna basically, I wanna take off anything that's loose because if I don't do it now, it will eventually just peel, peel up. Now I can go over it with the sander. My Craig jig for the next part of this project and I've got here this Craig jig um, see on here it says half three quarters and one and a half we want it on one and a half so you just adjust it by moving these things so we're gonna move it all the way to the end and you can tell it's on one and a half because it's grayed out see you can see through these ones so it's on one and a half because it's filled in. You also need your bit set to one and a half. There's measurements here that match the same as this. So there's half, three quarters, and one and a half. And in order to move it, you use the Allen key that came with. This comes in the kit and you just, you can loosen or tighten this. I've loosened it off and then you can move it 
I've loosened it off, but you don't want to take it out. And then you can move, move this up or down where you want it. So I'm going to put it right at one and a I've got it right at one and a half, and then you tighten it. Okay, one and a half, it's tight, and then you can put this bit in your drill. I've got my drill, you're gonna open up the chuck. Put it in. Tighten it up. Make sure you've got a charged battery. You're also gonna need a clamp for this. We're gonna do several different types of pocket holes. We're gonna do three pocket holes here that are gonna go up so that we can secure the top board to it. And then we're gonna do pocket holes two on the ends to secure to the four by four post. We're gonna do two pocket holes here to secure to this four by four post. We're going to do pocket holes here and here to secure to the posts again, and then the same for the other two pieces. So we want three in here to go to the top. This is the top. So half of 32 is 16, so we want one about there. Half of 16 is eight, so we want one about there. And then another eight at about eight. If I were to do this again, I would also add one right near the ends on either side. So you take this, this goes on the edge like this. I'm just drilling with one. And now you want to clamp it. This is your clamp. And then I'm going to drill right in. it stops okay so you just need to drill one hole take the clamp out you got your pocket hole now we're going to do our two pocket holes on the end and this time we want both of them. So just put this in the middle roughly. And then you're gonna do the other one. We're gonna do two pocket holes here. it as I'm pulling it out too. Okay, now that board's ready, we're going to go ahead and do the next board. Okay, we got another one done. Okay, now we're going to put pocket holes in our two side pieces. We're going to do two here and two here. We're going to have to make these ones a little bit smaller though because they won't fit under the one and a half inch. So we're going to have to change it to, I think, three quarter inch maybe. Okay, so I've adjusted these ones to be three quarter inch. And again, you just slide these on here. Just slide these until it hooks into place clicks into place and then you'll see the grayed out part on three quarter inch. We gotta take this drill bit out and we're gonna loosen. Who are you talking to? I'm doing a video. Okay, so we're gonna put this on three quarter inch. This one's, this one right here. Three 
quarter inch. And then tighten it. Okay, put it back in. So I clamped this one on. You can see it's off center a little bit because then when I do the other side, I'm gonna just um, offset it. So I'm just holding this up to show you. Drill one, drill two, and then we're gonna take it off. We're gonna flip it around. Make sure you actually flip it around because we want to be drilling in the opposite way. And now we're gonna, see we're gonna offset it down this side. Clamp. Okay, so you can see the one down there. Drilled it in. So, okay, we got two holes going this way and two holes going this way so we can attach the board. We're going to repeat this on the other one. Okay, now for the fun part, I get to put it all together. So I've got this piece of panel board. It's one eighth of an inch thick, and I'm gonna use this as a spacer. You can use whatever you want for a spacer. I would recommend something between an eighth of an inch like this to a quarter of an inch. I've got my leg here. I've got the end piece that I'm gonna put on, and I'm gonna use my spacer here to line it up, and then it's gonna be flush at the top. So before we put it down, we're going to glue it. The board's only going to stick where there's glue. So if you don't spread it out, it's only going to stick in a few spots. You don't need a lot of glue. But you want to get the whole surface. And spread it out. And then I'm using these Craig um, pocket screws. You don't have to use pocket screws, but they're flat here, which means they fit right in the pocket hole and they secure really strong. These are two inch. This is what it looks like when they're screwed in and then I'm just going to show you on this side you can see how the hole is flat it has like a flat surface so that's and the screws are flat here so that's why they work really well together well obviously they're meant to go together um, these are more expensive these screws you can use just a regular wood screw but this will be stronger probably I've got my other leg here. I've got the good side down and out. And then I have an extra piece of three inch block. I'm gonna put it on the bottom to hold it. Oops, I'm gonna put my glue on. my spacer to line it up okay. 
right. Lined up there. Flush there. And I got my two inch. Nice truck, bud. Okay, it is strong. Really strong. I've got this one end done. This is the inside. This is the good side. I'm gonna put it with the good side down. Pocket holes up. I'm gonna secure this one here. So here's the pocket holes. They're gonna go on the inside this way. You won't see them. And the blue. Okay, so I'm gonna use my spacer. It's a little bit hard to see, but now I'm putting the other piece on and I'm just doing it the same way as I just showed you. Okay, so I had to get some extra help for this one. Um, and I just got to push this out here and then I'm going to screw in from the bottom. I'm going to go up like this way. down there okay there it is I finished the top barn wood part with polyurethane two coats sanding in between and then finish it off with a little bit of stainless wool to take that shine away and then on the legs I used an oil based semi translucent black stain what do you guys think let me know in the comments and let me know if you're going to give this tutorial a try I know you can do it can't wait to see what you make for the day-to-day -day DIYs check us out on Instagram at so bright creations